everybody, I'm Laura Trump coming to you from Studio 45 at Trump Tower in New York City. President Trump's action against a terror leader has put Iran on notice. Not surprisingly, many Democrats have expressed more sympathy for Iran than support for the president. Joining me is a U.S. Marine veteran and a member of the Annex security team that fought the Battle of Benghazi, Mark Geist. Mark, we're so excited to get you on. Thanks for being with us. Hey, thanks for having me, Laura. So following his decision to order a drone attack on Iranian terror leader Qasem Soleimani, President Trump addressed the nation. Take a look. I salute the incredible skill and courage of America's men and women in uniform for far too long all the way back to 1979, to be exact. Nations have tolerated Iran's destructive and destabilizing behavior in the Middle East and beyond. Those days are over. As long as I'm President of the United States, Iran will never be allowed to have a nuclear weapon. Mark, don't you think it's about time that a U.S. president finally countered Iran's reign of terror decisively? Oh, it's so overdue, it's ridiculous. I mean, the last administration's uh, role of appeasement is just 180 degrees opposite of what we needed. And I don't think we would be in this situation had they uh, took a stronger stance back then. Right. It's about time that somebody stood up and said enough is enough because we've looked at like a pretty weak country for quite some time, I think, around the world and especially to people like Iran. And I, I want to go to something that I know is very personal to you. You saved the lives of 25 Americans in Benghazi. Um, that I'm sure that's something that you think about all the time, that uh, that's what most people know you for. You, I'm sure more than anyone, take the president's pledge that there will be no more Benghazis really, really seriously, don't you? Well, yeah, definitely. I mean, <clears throat> you know, everybody was trying to make this comparison. Uh, the left tried to come out and say this was uh, President Trump's Benghazi. And, uh, you know, the only, comp the only thing that was similar was that there was bad people trying to do bad things to Americans. Yeah. Um, after that, it was 100% difference. I mean, I think the president had uh, assets in route probably within 13 seconds and the previous administration, they couldn't even get it done in 13 hours. Yeah, well, exactly. I mean, tell me what it's like, though, you know, as someone that serves this country, has served this country, to know that the president has your back the way that this president has the back of, of people in the military, law enforcement, people that take care of Americans, take care of our country. What is that like to know uh, for the men and women fighting for this country every day that the president backs you up? You know, it's so important to one, the morale and, you know, the, and the esprit de corps of our military service members, our law enforcement. Um, you're not sitting there looking over your shoulder now, whether or not the rules of engagement or anything right. like that are, and next thing you know, you're going to end up going to prison or something like that for protected lives. It, it shouldn't shock anyone based on how crazy they've been. But incredibly, the president's Iran policy is being criticized by the same Democrats, Mark, who covered up the attack in Benghazi and paid Iran $150 billion for the failed Iran nuclear deal. What is your reaction to that? Uh, I think it's it's just pathetic on them on their part. I mean, I think if the president uh, endorsed oxygen, they would all shove their heads in plastic bags just so they didn't have to breathe. I don't know. It's, uh, it's ridiculous. I mean, I always, you know, I asked, when is enough enough? I mean, how much American blood has to be spilled? How many people have to be under threat of violence by these rogue regimes before we take action? And to them, 600, 700 Americans killed. How many thousands that have been injured by the Quds Force, by General Qassam Soleimani, and his, all the protractors underneath him? I mean, when is enough enough? And apparently it's not for the Democrats. I mean, they're going to, they jumped on that. And um, I think one of the best memes I saw is, and for my, it, it was a picture of the president, and it said, uh, and for my next magic trick, poof, the Democrats are, are backing Iran. Right. A terrorist. Like, they're backing terrorists now. But, Mark, that just speaks to the fact that it doesn't matter what this president does. 
they are going to fight back against him. And it's actually a little bit funny to watch them do this stuff. I mean, truthfully, it's really sad. These are people that are supposed to be leading our country and representing the people of our country. And yet they're siding with a terrorist over the president only, Mark, because it is President Donald Trump. They, I mean, doesn't matter what he does, no matter how great it is for the United States, they will criticize him for it. And you saw it happen here. Uh, but I think for most people, they realize that that's happening. And I actually want to get your take on this because I have family um, that still serves in the military today. For people out there that don't understand what taking out Soleimani meant, from your perspective, for the men and women that fight for this country every day and somebody that sort of has been in this, how important is that? What did that mean? Because this guy was not a, a I, I hate even calling him a general. He was a terrorist, right? Yeah, he was. I mean, 100%. You know, um, I was in Iraq from 2004 to 2009, um, about nine months every year from that time to that time. I saw wow. how the escalation and how the involvement of the Quds Force, that terrorist organization, helped um, solder during the Battle of Solder City helped develop the EFPs, the explosive force penetrators that maimed and killed so many Americans. Um, you know, I've seen the other side of what happens when an EFP goes off, coming up on it as a quick reaction force or something like that. And to get rid of somebody who is doing that is so important to, again, to the morale of the people to let them know that, you know what, we're, there is nobody that's untouchable if you're gonna hurt Americans. Yep, absolutely right. Well, Mark, listen, we really thank you so much for your service to this country. Uh, thank you for being such a great patriot, and thanks for being here with us today. Hey, thank you so much, Laura. While some Democrats may sympathize with the terror state of Iran, President Trump's leadership will prevent Iran from getting nuclear weapons and terrorizing the world. That's the real news for today. If you'd like to get involved with Team Trump, go to DonaldJTrump.com or text Trump to 88022 to join our winning team. I'm Laura Trump from Studio 45 at Trump Tower in New York City. Thanks for joining us, everybody.